Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. I'm out here on the farm today, so please disregard any animal noises you may hear in the background. I just wanted to do a video and, and get in touch with you guys on this M&P 1522 safety notice that came out recently. And this affects all the Smith & Wesson M&P 1522s that were produced before February the 1st of 2019. So if you own a Smith & Wesson 1522, you'll want to get yours checked or check it yourself. And if you go to Smith & Wesson's website and put your serial number in to your 1522, if yours falls into that category that needs checked, which February 1st is not that long ago, so most of them do fall into that category, they'll send you a gauge to check it with. And what it is, is the bolt face on some of these, the counter bore on the bolt face wasn't cut deep enough. And you can use this gauge to check and see it should, this gauge should be flush or below the surface of the bolt face if it's put into that counter bore. You can see here that's unacceptable. You've got the gauge sticking up above the bolt face. So I thought I'd check mine here on video. I haven't checked it yet. I, I went to their website as soon as I heard about this. And of course I posted it to my Facebook page and over on my Patreon so all my patrons would be aware of this as soon as I found out about it. And I went ahead and signed up and got the free gauge sent to me so that I could check mine. And it just arrived in the mail today, actually. It was taped to the back of this card here. It just, just came like that inside an envelope. So, now I can't provide any links to Smith & Wesson. You guys will have to Google it. Just Google Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 Safety Notice and it'll come up. If you're watching this video on BitChute, all the links will be in the description so that you can just go and click on those links and get all the information you can about this safety recall or at least all the information that I can provide. YouTube is so weird. They would, you know, they would rather put their own politics in front of allowing me to provide you guys a link to a gun manufacturer. So that's just the way it is. It's easy enough to find on the web if you look for it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this bolt out I've already cleared the gun, but we're going to pull this bolt out and check it. Pretty simple, straightforward stuff. You can see mine doesn't look unusual. So let's put the gauge in. And mine is indeed flush with the boat face so mine is not a problem and what the issue is with that not being cut deep enough of course 22 is rim fire so if you've got a round in here and that's not cut deep enough and this bolt slams home let's say you charge the magazine and slam the bolt home if that's not cut deep enough that can whack up against the rim of that cartridge hard enough to set it off and even go into some automatic fire. And as fun as automatic fire sounds, it's not too fun if you're not expecting it. In fact, it can be quite dangerous. So, so mine's good to go. I recommend that you get yours checked. Go over there and sign up for it and get your free gauge to check it with. And I brought my calipers out here in case some of you guys might want to know how thick that gauge actually is. I'm getting 34 thousandths of an inch on my calipers. So if you've got something that's around 34 thousandths of an inch, you can check it on your own, but I highly recommend getting the actual gauge to check it with. But that's all I got. I wanted to get in touch with you guys with that. I'm glad that mine uh, is good to go. If it's not good to go, you'll have to get in touch with uh, Smith & Wesson. They'll actually provide you some numbers to do that. Uh, the email address and a phone number so that they can get you a the correct parts or get your gun fixed or however it is that they're handling this. I don't know if they're hand, uh, sending out new bolts or if they're uh, cutting the, the original bolt deeper or what. You know, I don't know what their solution is since, and I don't have to find out luckily. But that's all I got. I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop on that, and I'll talk with y'all again soon.